Right, look at this handsome fellow. Uh, flaunting the traditional advice that you should not buy a budget Chinese mini moto. But what a budget. That is less than $100, less than £70 sterling. Now, the price was reflected in the packaging when it arrived, I give you that. Uh, even the this way up arrows are being totally ignored and the bike being delivered as it was upside down. Uh, I crossed my fingers and hoped that I hadn't just bought a massive paperweight. But uh, I like riding bikes and uh, hope to pass on that love to my son. And I think this is going to do just the job. It's the right size for him, right size for the back of my tiny little car. Ideal. His first go was in the uh, underground car park as it's the rainy season. Not doing too bad, I don't think. So what about that advice? Why should you not buy a budget Chinese mini moto? Well, the parts aren't as good. They're not as good quality. Break, the engineering's break, 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 not as good. Break, 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 break. The brakes aren't as good. Agree with all of the above, but it's a motorbike and it functions the way a motorbike should. And I think it's the perfect first step onto a lifelong love of a very valuable hobby indeed, motorcycling. Is it dangerous? Some will say it's dangerous, but uh, we had a little scrape on this trip and uh, there was no issues. In fact, there were far more dangerous things just around the corner. Have a look at this canopy of spiderwebs full of the most vicious looking arachnids you've ever seen in your whole life. I was far more daunted by those than the uh, dangers that motorcycling brought. So we carried on our adventure and I reaffirm my belief that absolutely you should buy a mini moto. Everyone should get one. Get one right now. Live a happier and more fulfilling life. Be a better person. Ride motorbikes. Do it.